Hello guys, it's Kay, and um, I'm, you know, it's another day of being quarantined, and today, I had an emotional day. I couldn't really do what I had planned to do today. I um I stayed in the bed all day. Um I you know I cried. I cried some but I was um I calmed down, whatever. But yeah, um I know a lot of people don't know anybody personally with COVID-19, but now I do. And it's, it's different when, when somebody you really know tested positive. I mean, of course, I already know, like, all the stuff and all that, whatever, and yes, I had a lot of questions. They all was answered, and it's the same stuff y'all y'all know, you know. <sighs> Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't wear a mask. You know, stay home if you can. Only go to the testing sites if you're showing symptoms. If you're showing symptoms, you can't just go get tested. You know, you have to have symptoms. Even children, even the children. <laughs> you know, you have to be showing symptoms. And I understand because, you know, the supply of the test is not great. So. But um, it made me very emotional today. And, and then I think I was angry some too because, like I said before, my children break quarantine and I be feeling like, like I'm um, trapped in my bedroom because... This I like feel safe in my bedroom. You know. Because I'm not going to tell my children like, you know. I want my children to be here. I want them to be here. And yeah, we all we take precaution. You know, they do too, you know. We do the um we do the um so this help. We do the um you know, we take vitamins, but you know, we're trying to get the vitamin C and the um our regular medications and you know, drinking water and the tea and we had lemons we don't have no more right now um no more lemons at this moment but um I guess the next person to go to market um but yeah it's, it's, it's just like a different feeling it's, it's like a more scary feeling now and that's in me and it did, it made me stress. My body was aching a little bit. And I just like, you should have to calm down. Yeah, my body was aching. Because stress does that to me. Stress makes me sick. Yes. Stress. I 
I'm watching. I've been watching movies all day. And I'm watching um school days. I watched that movie um what was it called? Coffee and Coffee and somebody. Netflix. And what else I watched today? Um Something else too. I've been watching Netflix movies all day. I watched the Players Club and um, Purple Rain. This morning though, I was watching Veggie Tales because I wanted to like um, when my children were little. On a Saturday morning. Um, we would all watch Channel on um, 48 because they had like all these little kid programs that came on from like Saturday morning from like 6 a.m. all the way to like 4 p.m. And we would watch them. And Veggie Tales was one of them. So I, I had put that on this morning. It was really just plain. But I was listening. There's always a message in, each, in every show. It's always a message. So tomorrow's Palm Sunday. I'm thinking about getting dressed, even though I know I just, you know, I watch it on my tablet. But I just want to get dressed. I don't know. We'll see when tomorrow gets here. Because just like today, I didn't plan to, like, stay in the bed all day. I did eat. And I'm going to eat again. i probably just eat some toast. And people that know that I eat, yes, I eat toast all the time. That's like a go-to for me. I know some of my girlfriends be like, you still eat toast? Yeah. You can toast me a piece of bread in a minute, and I'll be happy. I eat plain toast. I ain't got to have no butter. And my brother, he'd go to Wawa's before he come pick me up. He'd be like, you ain't that? I'd be like, yeah, plain toast. Plain toast. The only time I say that to Wawa is because I don't like when they put the butter on. Some people be too heavy handed. So I always say plain toast to Wawa. And I know you can get a little butter on the side, but I eat it plain. Forget it. The other day when I went to the store, the little store, Got me a bunch of snacks that I thought was going to last, you know. But being though I was in the bed all day, I didn't eat all them snacks. I got some left, but I didn't, I didn't kill them. Laying in this bed watching movies all day. Yeah. When you buy these bonnets, yeah. I mean, I, I I don't remember what what was the brand name of this bonnet, but you know how you buy bonnets. My daughter picked up these ones though from the hair store when it was open, and they were so tight, like they oh my goodness, it was like headache tight, like this band was headache tight, and we both had to like. Like, I had mine stretched out on this, on a dresser. Like, I had stretched out for, like, days, probably, like, weeks. Because I wanted it to stretch out, you know. And I kept testing it. I mean, it's it, feel, it feels good now. It's way better than it was. It's still a little snug. Still a little snug. I said, they, and my daughter said they wasn't even an expensive bonnet. That's what she said. Hers was too. She just stretched hers out. <laughs> but 
they was a headache. This little band was headache tight. I said that probably that would be good for like I guess you know I guess you know you put condition on and you sleep with it overnight. I did that one time. I had got a caramel treatment. So they was like, you should leave it at overnight since, you know, I was working at my girlfriend's hair salon. He was like, you'll be back tomorrow, you know, leave it in overnight. So I was like, all right. Child, that stuff was leaking all over that place. It drove me crazy. I couldn't wait to get to work the next day so I could rinse it out. Yeah, my hair was like butter. <laughs> it was like butter. So soft. That was the one that was when I had got the um karma treatment for um first form graduation. My brother thought I had a perm. He was like, I said, I shame. I had a karma treatment. I said, my tight curls would be back when they wiggle off. He was like, Oh, I thought you that when they got a perm. I was like, No, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. And it was um, really, 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 really soft. Today is my grandpa's birthday. And, um, is that, is my nose dry or? Or is that like little white hairs? I think it's little white hairs. Hubert is his name. Getting on my nerves is his game. <laughs> Today is his birthday. He's one years old in human years. I normally buy the pet stuff, but I I didn't get a chance to this year. And I didn't even think to like order something off Amazon. I got them though. I got them. I'm not that kind of pet gram owner. I'm a grand grand owner. I'm gonna get him something. I am. Um, Hmm. We call him Hugh or Hub. I'm funny. Pets are funny. Pets are funny. Man, one thing I be thinking like my kids, they had a dog. And I, um, I said cat is not both of theirs, it's firstborn's cat, but, and, um, firstborn also had a, um, hamster guinea pig, his name was Bronx, he was funny too, oh my goodness, he was so funny, cause he was like, say 99% blind, so, you know, he went by a herring, so he, he hear you come in close to him, he'd be like, or he'd be like, or he used to go like this, get close to the cage to, like, try to see you. <laughs> and he was funny, too. He had this cage, and it had, like, the downstairs and the upstairs. And Red would put the new, like, what you call it, the seating or the whatever for, that they lay on, their comfort. He would shove it all in his jaws and either carry it up the upstairs or down. <laughs> he would. Yeah. I remember we had to um, watch him while she go to London and Paris and wherever she went. I don't know. It was one of them, London, Paris. She went. 
and we had to watch him. I was so, I wasn't scared of him. I just was scared. I, I didn't want to lose him. We didn't. We didn't. He, you know, but he's no longer with us neither. Y'all know Shmuga had got sick too. Yeah, and um, his intestines were um messed up. They think he probably ate something, and and we didn't have the money for the surgery. And he got real sick, real sick. So that's a shame. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we are cat. <laughs> See, this this calms me down too. Like I feel a little bit more relaxed. Cause I'm telling you, I just been so stressed today. So stressed. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit more calmer. My new dinner time is midnight. I'm like, well, I'm not going to really say dinner time. Because sometimes I do eat earlier. But for some reason, like, I got to eat something at midnight. Because I be feeling like I be getting these hunger pains. Like, real bad. Like, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Or, and, like, my daughter was like, it, you can't hold off. Cause she was like, she sometimes she be hungry, but she hold off to like, she can get up. I'll be like, no, it'd be like that bad. Like, it won't let me go back to sleep. It just, yeah. So now I just like, I started just eating at midnight situation. Eating at midnight and um, like before I try to take it down. I don't know what that is. Like, is it um? I don't know what that is. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna say another scripture for y'all. Which one I'm gonna do? I don't know. For some reason, Romans twelve three popped in my head, so <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even like think past it. Romans twelve three is um peace with more. Get your life, get your life, sweetie. But but whoever has the world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him. How can the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Romans 12, 3. There you go. Romans 12, 3. Yeah. yeah, I got my little cocktail tonight. That little root beer. I was drinking it earlier with an ice cream sandwich. You know, I tried to like, you know. I was eating the ice cream sandwich and drinking the root beer. Maybe some toast a little put a little butter butter jazzy got some vegan butter i should try it maybe i'll try it see what that be like
today I ain't really eat much. I just had noodles, oodles and noodles. Well, that was the only thing I ate besides the junk food. Oodles and noodles with a bunch of hot sauce. My first one was like, I'm going to have to buy you some real noodles. I don't know what she mean by that, but she get tired of me eating oodles and noodles. But first off, when she left for college, I had, I wasn't even like buying them no more. I don't know why. And like, I didn't have them for years. And, um... When she moved back home, she was like, um, she was like, she was like, that was one of the meals she ate a lot was, you know, noodles. And I was like, I had noodles in years. Work me some. And now I'm back to eating noodles and noodles. And I know it ain't good for you, but I know. I can't afford to eat healthy. I can't. For the most part, Jasmine does it. You know, ever since she's been on this vegetarian, vegan journey, she, you know, she likes to buy fresh foods, certain things. They always have to be something certain. And it's expensive. It's expensive. I can't afford it. So I eat my oodles and noodles. Mm. <laughs> I ain't even read today. I'm going to do that. I'm going to read my Bible before I go to sleep, too. I'm going to read my Bible. I did pray today. And I'm going to write in my journal. I've been doing good with my journal. Um, I always journal. But um, I, I just, I had ran into this journal app that I got on my phone. And I really like it. So I've been doing that every day, like every night. I add an entry when I be eating my own. Um, you know, midnight snack or midnight, whatever it is. <laughs> I'll be doing that. And, um, yeah. I'm going to turn this, let me turn the spotlight on and read my Bible. And then when I make my tools and then I make my journal entry. In the morning, morning, get up. When I get out the shower, I see if I feel like putting on some clothes for online service. E9TED.org. Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. Wake up. Not physically, but wake up. Yeah, I still want my cheesesteak, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Well, I just really need to get on here and do a little chit chat. Thanks for listening to me. It helped me feel a little better. You know, I'm going to keep my loved one in prayer. And 
I just keep, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. Because that's all I can do is do what I'm supposed to do. You know, like I, I used to say, I'm going to say it. And I always used to say, like, you know, you can't control it. You know, I hate to say, and I ain't just talking about COVID. I'm talking about um, situations. Like, people leave their house, get hit by a car, or all of a sudden. Or, like, this past December, like, first I was in and out the hospital. Um, and I thought starting in August, but my friend was like, no, it was earlier than that. And it probably was. I think August is when I, um, I don't know, but. Maybe because that was my birthday month and I just remember that. But December, like it was Christmas and Christmas, like it was Christmas day, whatever. Jasmine was asleep all day, waiting for her to wake up. She finally woke up. We enjoyed our little Christmas day. And then my kids got dressed and left. Not a little sad or whatever, but they adults. But then they came, they both came back home and whatever. And we all had on our bare hooves and we took a picture. And I had posted um, to all a good night. And the next day I woke up. It was a whole different scenario. Like, my sister in law got me to the hospital. From there, on the 26th, I, I kind of remember the 26th. But then I was, that was it. I was gone. Just like, you, you just never know. So, I'm going to just live day by day. Do what I'm supposed to do. And... Make sure I get my life in order. You know. With God. That's all I can do. But. All you guys out there. Stay safe. Stay home if, if you can. And. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Subscribe, become my friend, become part of the keychain. It's key. Thank you. Bye.